All right, we're, roll we're rolling. We're just gonna dive right into it. What's up, everyone? I'm here with Scotty Dog. <laughs> yeah. What's up? You, you always got your laugh. <laughs> Does it make sense right now? It does, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you've been to the Cruisers tournament before, you know who this guy is, or you've seen him around. He's always got a big beard going on, sometimes walking around in animal suits. Sometimes. What were you in this last year? Uh, there was a dinosaur. A dinosaur, a purple a squirrel, dinosaur. And there was a dragon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have plans to know what the next one is? I've been told I'm not allowed to wear them next year. <laughs> All right. I don't want to get into why. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Right now, we're watching the finals of the uh, Osha Champions Day. Osha Champions Day, and uh, here, let's get the background going on this way. And uh, just tell me a little bit about what it's like um, being a part of the Cruisers Cup every year, the Osha program, and uh, what it means to you. Like, what it means to you to see the sport grow so much because you've been around for so long and you're so closely attached with so many of the players. Uh, so we're coming up to our ninth tournament this year. Um, and I can remember the first one, I was petrified we were of it. And now we basically kind of wait till the week before and be like, oh yeah, we have a tournament to organize. Um, it, it's absolutely amazing, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's hours on end, I'm usually in the ring from about 6.30 in the morning till 10 at night it seems. Um, but it's fun, like all weekend long I'm running around with my headset off. Um, but at the end of the day, when I know everything goes smoothly, it's a sign of a well-run tournament, so I take it as a compliment. Although, whenever someone tells me it's a well-run tournament, it always drives me insane, because I can think of every single thing right, that's right, going right. wrong. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing I just want to say about that is how, like the Blizzard tournament, I know this is crucial to the sport, that we look forward to this every year. And this has been where like, some of the most, or the best friendships have been formed. Uh, if you live with a disability, you start to learn a lot what other people are doing and how you can use that to help your, help your own. For the parents that have kids with disabilities, getting to have that conversation and interaction uh, while you're watching them play. Actually, uh, to that extent, I worked with uh, I worked with Terry Collision, Olson, from, uh, and his son Nathan actually developed a disability in his leg, became a parent, um, and Terry Nathan were both, and his wife Clara were both incredibly beside themselves. They didn't know what to do. Uh, Nathan was, I think, four years old. So I actually got him to come out to one of our practices and uh, got a miracle on the ice with him. And Terry said to me that he'd never seen his kids smile since everything started up with his disability. Right. And to me, that's what it's about, is finding this one kid who is perfectly placed for sledge hockey, getting him into the sport, and uh, they just won a, a silver medal on the other ice. No way. Yeah, yeah. So he's absolutely excited for yeah. so That's sick, man. That's what it's about to me. Right on, yeah, 100%. <laughs> so, and you know, the more we can get the awareness about the sport out there, the, the tournaments, the players, the club teams, everything, it's, it's better to help the sport grow. And again, create that awareness for people either living with or know someone with a disability. So uh, where can they find more information about the, the Cruisers team? Cruisers, they can go to cruisers-sports.com. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at Cruiser Sports. And yeah, we're always able to answer, answer any question you guys might have. And if you see Scotty Dog around the ring, say hello to him. <laughs> He's got this laugh, he's got he's got the belly, he's always rocking shorts. Yeah, Scotty Dog, 84. <laughs> 84. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna flash the other one around here a sec. The other guy you're gonna find is uh, Ken Hall over here. He's the other one. <laughs> he's the other one that's always rocking shorts during the tournament. Yep, so yep. check out look for those sexy legs down low. <laughs> check out for that laugh and that red beer uh, pie. And we'll see see you around the ring, Scotty. Cheers guys. Okay, cheers.